Today's lesson is all about one of my favorite attributes of x lights and that simply put is the value of curves. Hello, you amazing lighting enthusiasts, you x lights lovers, you lovers of lighting shows around the world. This is Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, your old pal, and this is Monday Minutes. Let's get started. Curves. Value curves was a transformative moment in the history of x lights What this gave this software was truly remarkable. So hats off to the devs that put this together. Uh, it has been well received and I just used the schnot out of it. So let's get into how you can take advantage of value curves on your sequencing journey in x lights It's not that difficult. There's a lot of tools that you can take advantage of. You don't have to be a drummer like me or a musician like me. You too can do this. Let's get started. I'm gonna take a basic effect like, uh, I don't know, let's go spirals. And let's put this on the eaves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's, let's, let's try this. I think I put something on, I did, I did, it's there. It's just really, really small. There we go. Let's do this. I'm just going to drag this to this section and we're just going to keep red and white. That's what's selected. I might put 3D because I love 3D and I'm going to change the default for the render style. So it goes across all of the eaves the same way. And I'm going to use overlay scale because some of my eaves are longer than the others. And when it starts at this end, I want it to end at the other end, no matter the length of the eave. Okay. And right now they look pretty slow, so I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. And we'll look at a couple of different ways we can do this. So what, what are value curves? Uh, it's, it's a value on a curve. See? <laughs> Simple. No, but seriously, these little buttons here that are arrows that have a lovely curve, that's a sign. It's a value curve. And you can apply value curves to just about everything not so much colors, but just about everything else. So let's take a look at this. If I click on for the movement of this value curve. Hey folks, if these videos are helping you out in your x lights journey, consider subscribing and smash that thumbs up. Helps the channel out. Thanks. Let's get back to this tutorial. Uh, you're going to see that I have a lot of custom value curves that I've created over the years and that we have some choices. Uh, typically, your first choice is going to be flat, and if you scroll down, you have all these uh, baked-in defaults. But some of my favorites that you should experiment with uh, might be music, inverted music, music trigger fades, and whatnot. If we look at just music, it's going to take a look at the uh, width between lows and highs. It's going to look at that expansion between low notes and high notes, and right now, uh, it's just set as a default, negative 20, 20. So it's looking at everything. So let's see what results we get. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad, but I just think we can do much better. So let's go down here and let's click on this again and let's try a different one. And the ones I really want you to check out are the ones that you can apply your own timings. Now, x Lights gives you Queen Mary Vamp plugins with some default timings, but there's no excuse for you not to create some of your own timings, which I've done here. If you look over in this section up here, you'll see that in new timings, I've hand tapped out some of these beats. And of course, I use the system for beats and note onsets. Fantastic, great. So we're gonna use the timing toggle track and I'm going to go with my new timings that I hand tapped out and see what these look like and sound like. Not bad. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And you could have just manually did little short phrases, but this is faster. It's one effect through a duration of time and we're getting that movement and X lights is allowing us to do that. Fantastic, right? Okay. So let's look at also changing 
spiral wraps. And I don't know if this is the best use case for this, but let's, let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna change the value curve by clicking on it. And then we're going to choose the value timing track fade fixed again. We'll do that. We'll use new timing. We'll click OK and let's see what we get. And you'll see it just sort of falls apart a little bit because the value curves for the spirals is changing the spiral itself. If we take the same effect and we copy this to the mega tree, then we're going to see something pretty unique. There we go. We'll scoot the mega tree over here. And now you'll see that we have the speed. Yeah, cool. If we want to see uh, it change a little bit differently based on just uh, the beats, change the new timing to the beats. And this should be repetitive. So you'll see it's dun, 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 dun. And then the speed is also being controlled by this. So lots of different things we could do with this. We could go in here, we could create more palettes, we could thicken it up, we make it thinner, a thinner. A lot of things we could do, sky's the limit. But I think you get the point that the value curves gives us the ability to make these really cool changes and let the timings and these value curves do their job. This is a fantastic way to begin experimenting with rhythms and effects to take it to a different level. For those of you that are aspiring sequencers, this single-handedly is one of the greatest exercises you can work on. Just take an effect. It doesn't really matter what the effect is. Go to your value curves and start playing with these different settings. Experiment with each one of these. Uh, let's go to the proportional. And let's click OK. And now here's our proportional. That is cool, right? Look at this mega tree go. All right, practice, practice, practice. You don't have to necessarily work harder, you just wanna work smarter. I hope this helps you out. I hope this inspires you to be more creative and take your x light sequencing to a whole different level. Be extreme out there. It's worth the effort.